Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I finally got my hands on the most Instagrammed, YouTubed, viral foundation that's been all up in your timeline, Il Maquillage. Yes, I finally gave in and bought you. I literally bought this foundation because it was an ad on one of my own videos. My own ads got me, people. But I've been eyeing this foundation for a while because that like little video of that girl with the perfect foundation match and that full coverage, I was like, <sighs> tempting. Like, I thought about buying this like probably five times, but I finally just pulled the trigger and purchased her. So Il Maquillage is only sold on their website, not sold in any stores, but it claims to be like the most flawless looking, perfect match, easy to find in your shade, full coverage foundation ever. So I didn't even try to get this video sponsored because they spend so much money on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram ads. I'm like, they ain't got no money for me. So before we get started, let me show you exactly how you find the perfect foundation shade for you using the Il Maquillage Shade Finder. What kind of finish are you looking for? Matte, shine free, natural, luminous, girl, I have no idea. I clicked matte because I am a shiny girl. Then it's gonna show you a bunch of photos and you choose which one looks most like your skin tone. So I think at this point I click tan deep. Then you kind of just click through and pick the girl that has the most similar skin tone to you. Now here's the tricky part, undertone. Even I still struggle with my undertone because they feel like it differs between each brand. So it says, I don't know, help me decide, balance or neutral, pink, red or cool, yellow, golden or warm. I just clicked, I don't know, help me decide. And it still helped me figure it out. And that's how we got to this point right here. Then it says, push up your sleeves, check out the veins on the inside of your wrist. Are they more purple or more green? So here's my wrist, definitely more blue green. So that's the one that I chose. Then it says, do you look better in gold or silver jewelry? Which one brings out most of your glow? Silver, gold, or girl, I look good in everything. I picked gold. Then it asks you if you tan and then it gives you some more lighter or darker photos to choose from. So they just keep answering all the questions and I notice that I feel like they're about to launch some more skincare because then I start sneaking in some skincare questions that I really felt like didn't have anything to do with my foundation shade. They were just trying to get some more information out of this little quiz for their next launch. But you know, whatever, it was smart. It's a smart marketing tool. So then once you go through all the motions, bam, you have your foundation shade chosen for you. And I actually did a good job because I got the same one. Again, so one, I love that the foundation is called Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation and I'm shade 155. This is a $44 bottle. It is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce like most foundations. And it does last for 18 months, not bad. Now one of the coolest things about this brand is that you can try before you buy. So even though we did this whole survey to make sure that we get the perfect match, if it still isn't a good match for your skin, you don't even have to pay for it. So you get the full size, like I did. You click try before you buy. Then it's gonna ask you if you want the concealer. It got me, that's how I ended up getting the concealer. So I added it to my order, which is $28. I'm the shade 10. So they have a whole risk-free system so you could try everything. That's how confident they are in their makeup. So if you look at my cart, it says $0. Zero dollars and a mystery gift. So the only thing that I'm paying for is a $5 shipping. That's pretty cool. So when you sign up, you do put your credit card and then it doesn't charge you unless you want to keep it. If not, you put it back in the box and you ship it back, no questions asked. So I'm a huge fan of uh, return policies <laughs> and I will take something back if I don't like it. You also can save 20% if you do an auto replenish. I end up doing the every four months. We'll see if I need more. I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of foundation. Um, and then it also gave me a free foundation brush, which I'm also gonna be using today, which is a $45 value when you subscribe. So that's how it got me. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied all of my new Il Maquillage products to my face. Let's begin because I'm genuinely excited to try all these things. So starting off with the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. I'm really glad that I got the primer because the primer does make a big difference. So if they're claiming this is the, Oh, that is beautiful. That is glamorous. Okay, forgot what I was saying. It is best to see how a primer and a foundation go together and they're claiming that this is the best way to do it. So let's do it. This needs to just be sitting on my vanity. Wow, elite. Okay, not the best pump. Clear consistency. Ooh, I like the creamy texture. Let's just go ahead and press this on. 
Do we see a difference? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, primer is set. Definitely wins her most beautiful packaging of all time. Now, let's move on to the world famous foundation. Il Maquillage woke up like this. Love the name. And it's the most reviewed foundation online. Well, I guess so. Flawless base foundation smooths and evens the skin, minimizes the appearance of shadows and pores, enhances the complexion and creates a flawless natural matte finish. So when you open it up, it says, sorry, I don't speak low maintenance. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Such cute little packaging. Then you ruin your teeth. <laughs> All right. Beautiful, sleek packaging. I actually love this font. So I am the color 155. It's made in Italy. Shaking it up. I usually apply with a beauty blender. Oh. Okay, so don't just twist it. You'll be twisting for days. It's a pop-off top. Good to know. So I usually apply my foundation with a beauty blender, but since I spent X amount of dollars, I got a free Il Maquillage foundation brush. So that's what we're gonna use. That's what we see in all the videos. Let's try it. Ah, I mean, if only I had some large pores or dark spots to cover, like how are we really gonna check the coverage? Oh, thank you, Chin. Thank you for volunteering. I'm gonna do one, oh, two pumps, barely. Let's see what this does. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. I think I ended up getting the full coverage very nice i really thought it was going to be even thicker um from like those videos but it's actually pretty um liquidy the color is looking nice yeah i think the color works is it exact i don't know maybe not bad for an online quiz though. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. I really wanted that like, oh my God, wow moment that you see in the uh, YouTube ads and Instagram ads. It still looks good, I just, I don't know. I thought I was gonna be more blown away by the first application. I don't know if it's the exact match. All right, foundation complete. Very even, full coverage after adding on a couple layers. It's not extremely matte right now. It's like a nice happy medium. Now that my foundation is on, it is exactly 1.02 p.m. So we'll see how long this stays matte and full coverage. But let's move on to the concealer. So this is Il Maquillage. Oh, I can't even read this title. <laughs> it's explicit, but it says F, I'm flawless. <laughs> it's funny, it's cute, it just. Multi-use perfecting concealer. Definitely loving the cute and sleek packaging. So I am the color 10. Ooh, all right. Definitely more of a peachy undertone. I usually go a little more like golden bright when I choose, but let's see. So I just watched this TikTok on Instagram that said that this is the 2016 way to apply makeup. Sorry, this is what I do. <laughs> One day I will learn the 2021 way. I didn't know we changed uh, trends. But what do we do between 2016 and 2021 though? Like what was the 2019 trend? I know the 2020 trend was no makeup at all. So I'm gonna blend this out using my beauty blender. I think I was expecting like Tarte Shape Tape or Becca Concealer, like insane coverage, but I'm gonna add a little more. They're really trying to keep it light and airy. But now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Much better. Y'all, I stand corrected. As soon as I left my little camera station and looked in an actual mirror, I noticed how bomb the foundation actually looked on my skin. I'm starting to learn that my little viewfinder does not really do my actual face justice, but it looks so good. It's giving me like that high-end professional makeup look. Like if I were to get my makeup done, this is how like flawless it would look. So I'm really happy with it right now. I think it's gonna be a great like photography, photo shoot type makeup 
because I am getting that like smooth, flawless finish. The only other Il Maquillage item I got was their liquid eyeliner in the color black. <laughs> but I didn't even buy this. This was like a free gift with purchase. So I ain't mad at it. But right now it is 2.01. So it's been exactly one hour since I started putting on my makeup. Let's see how well this does over time on my oily skin. So I'm going to come back at the end of the day and we'll see how it looks. And I'm back and it is almost 8.30 p.m. And this is where we are. Guys, it looks really, really good. It always is gonna look the worst here on camera in front of all these bright fluorescent lights, but in real life, it looks even better. But the full coverage is still there. I'm actually pretty matte. I do have a little bit of sheen going on, so let's try to fix that right now. I'm out of my normal blotting sheets, but I do have my blotting sheets from Rare Beauty. So let's just try these and see how we look. So here is the oil from my face. Here I am post blot, much better. I do see a little bit of brown on here, so there's a slight bit of transfer. But overall, I think it's worth the hype. I really was expecting a more excited first impression on that first application of it being a perfect match to my skin tone, but it was buildable for me to get to the full coverage that I wanted and it looks really, really good. I think it's worth a try, especially because you can get your money back if you don't like it. So don't just take my word for it, try it for yourself. And if you don't like it, you just send it back no questions asked. So let me just check my email. Here's how it works. It says you try it for free for 14 days and you just pay $5 for shipping. If you love it, you keep it, then they'll charge your card. If not, you just send it back and you either get a full refund or you can ask for a different color if you weren't happy with your shade. So I love the try before you buy concept of an online foundation, especially. They really help you try to find your perfect match. I love how trendy and conversational the questions were. It made it kind of fun to do the quiz. I will continue to wear this makeup because I loved how it looked, so I might try it with a different primer to see how well the primer really does. The concealer, it looked better in person than it did on camera. Taking photos, it came out a little white, so I probably could go with a warmer color for my concealer if I really wanted to, but I'm happy with it. So now let me know what you guys think. Did you give in to the Instagram and YouTube ads and actually cave and buy this very trendy makeup? If so, please let me know your thoughts below. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.